Steam just set off my smoke alarm. I had to come out here, climb it on a chair half naked to try and fix it. Just got back in from a run out on the back patio cooling down. Today was an amazing run. It felt like my legs were spring loaded. I was just in the zone. Probably the quickest run I've ever done in a long time. I love these days. Okay, this is really ridiculous. I'm in a towel right now. I had the door to the bathroom open while I was showering and steam came off and steam, steam just set off my smoke alarm. I had to come out here, climb it on a chair half naked to try and fix it. I mean, look at this. This is where my smoke alarm was. And then I'm showering all the way down here and around the corner. There are certain things that I could never do again in my life if I tried. Setting a smoke alarm off with steam 20 feet away is one of them. I, I can't even figure this out right now. I'm gonna get back in and finish my shower. I'm freezing right now. It was either this coat or a raincoat. And I chose this one because I looked up at the sky and it was clear and blue. I find out outside that it was only clear and blue skies in the direction I was looking. So the sky was only bright blue and sunny in the direction looking from my window. Behind the building, it's completely gray and I'm probably gonna get rained on. It was a 50-50 shot. Oh, no. <laughs> the moment I said that, I can feel light raindrops on me right now. This is really weird. It's like the lightest of rainfalls right now. In other interesting news, there was a mini class reunion yesterday for my high school. I was not able to go because obviously I'm on a different continent. One of my friends, John, actually Facebook lived it. So I get to see about six minutes worth of footage from it. And man, it's just funny to see some of these people. It's about 20 years ago I graduated high school. So some people like the, the kind of jockey guys were still in relatively okay shape but then there were some people who were just average to skinny back in high school and a few of them got really beefed up and muscular crazy to see all the changes so this is fantastic i'm in class i'm teaching a class but i'm in the middle of a park because my students are off doing gps measurements these are the days you really love as a professor. Have a coffee while I'm in the middle of teaching class? Sure. I love field days. I'm just trying to track down the students and see where they are. I think they're about halfway through. I just told them take the time you need, but don't take three hours to collect the GPS data points. And it doesn't help that they're using those GPS units from like 1993. Actually, fun fact, I said they were 1993. It actually popped up on the GPS. They're 1997, so these things are 20 years old. They still can't even transfer the coordinates. They have to write them by hand and put them into an Excel sheet. Yesterday night when I was prepping for this class, I had everything on a lock, knew what to do, knew what to go with. And then today, everything just fell apart. I was sitting in there essentially banging my head against the wall trying to figure out all of these computer problems. And it turns out that the problem was the fact that we were using French computers. In other words, in the US, you separate values with a comma and, uh, you know, thousands of values with a comma. In France, they separate, the, the decimal point is a comma in France. The only reason I was able to figure this out is because one of the Chinese students in the class informed me that she tried it with a comma instead of a decimal point and it worked. It changed and it did everything it was supposed to. 30 plus years of using decimals as a separator for after the zero, I would have never figured out to use a comma. Just when you think you've got teaching on lock, it unravels on you. So that's the tram over there. And I could probably wind sprint over there, but I, I'm sure that even if I did, I would still miss it just by seconds. So I'm just gonna leisurely walk. 